Yo, integral of sine x plus cos x over the product. We can split it up in sums, tiny pieces like sawdust. Deposit the sine x over sine x cos x on the left, and on the right we keep it tight at cos x undistressed. Alone in the numerator, over sine x cos x where there's smoke, there's fire. I assume the role of fumigator. When it comes to integrate, and I'll be the adjudicator. Cancel factors reactively like some bad actors. Integrals of reciprocals of cos and sine x. That's an integral of secant and cosecant. Can wrath the math rap like that? That? Of course he can. The next step is a surprise if you haven't memorized. These two integrals I keep stored behind my eyes. Export them to the board from the hordes in my mind. We some bad boys, dogs, and these are some logs. This one in particular is an absolute value of a secant, a tangent, and that's it, man. It's being added to this. And what's this, you ask? Well, it's similar to the term that we previously had. It's minus an absolute log of a x and a ka plus a constant. That's often forgot. Now here's what's handy, this is fine and dandy. This subtraction is as fraction as a fraction can be. That's a log property used properly. Now after popping off, I gotta stop and sip a cup of tea. Word.